good day public, we are anonymous. We are citizens of the world who bear witness to tyranny, oppression, and censorship. We are activists who seek to change the system and end the cycle of corruption. We seek to create transparency in governments and all institutions of public service. We resist those who seek to violate your rights as a human being. I like this new uh, politicized anonymous. I think it's good because they're very good at spreading the word. They have a, I mean, they're, they're, their in-house PR is amazing. Yes. So uh, anything that they get involved with usually gets picked up, and I think this would have been ignored by the media until I'm on these I think you're absolutely right about that. Tonight on CNN Presents, Anonymous. They live in the shadows. This is the closest thing to a global revolution that we have ever got. But their message and tactics have ignited a movement around the world. And are not a rare look inside the shadow group secret. I may very well be there. Of course, I'll be wearing a mask. This isn't a joke. And the media would be well advised to take these folks seriously. Their grievances are real. Their numbers are growing. And the rest of us would be well advised to start paying attention. Today we act. Today we send a message to them and everybody else. We are taking back our futures. Yeah. Oh. It is a system which has conscripted vast human and material resources into the building of a tightly knit, highly efficient machine that combines military, diplomatic, intelligence, economic, scientific, and political operations. You've heard of the hacker group that calls itself anonymous. They're hacking activists, Wall Street occupiers, they love them. Corporate security hates them, and the FBI is tracking them down. Just so, who are these people? As a collective of autonomous individuals, we have no leaders who dictate the methods of resistance. Therefore, some of us are indeed hackers who use our skills to make critical information available to the public. Some of us research news that corporate media ignores or destroys. Some of us organize protests and rallies. Being anonymous simply means that one shares the values and principles of freedom, the defense of it, and the pursuit for it. We are ordinary people concerned with the state of this world. We are your neighbors, your friends, your family. We are your mailmen, store clerks, business professionals, veterans, and military personnel. And united as this one idea we call anonymous, we desire a change. A change that is for once in the better interests of the people of this world.
by greed and dissent is crushed that's how anonymous sees america and they say that's why they're fighting back this is wrong and while our government has now declared that it has given up the concept of right and wrong you and i have not and will not do so Beyond the U.S., protesters are holding a day of coordinated action in cities across the world. We must arise non-violently but insistently. General strikes, boycotts, protests, sit-ins, non-cooperation, takeovers. A global outcry against corporate greed has risen up in almost a thousand cities worldwide. People have taken their anger to the streets. Leaderless, faceless, anarchic, this is our state. a loose collective born on the internet, anonymous has no official members and no hierarchy. Instead of gunpowder, we are everyone, Anonymous and we are no uses one. the internet. None of us are as powerful as all of us. Anonymous was evolving, using its power to shock and disrupt to affect social change. Spread this message like the Literally play. saving lives. They did everything from take down government websites. They wrote scripts to stop the phishing of passwords. They brought massive media attention. Shadowy internet group known as Anonymous has grown now far beyond its hacker roots. It's now emerging as a forceful public relations weapon for the Occupy protest movement. Stepping out from behind their secure computer screens for a new cause, Occupy Wall Street. There is a revolution brewing. Suddenly, the symbols of Anonymous were everywhere in flags, masks, banners. We have very little time to influence the events that are headed our way. Right now, we must form a coalition across the left and right. We must set aside our petty differences, no matter how important we think those differences are. We must unify against our common enemy. Our government has become a mere figurehead to the real powers that be. The Congress, the Senate, the executive branch do not represent our interest. They are bought and paid for. They are corrupt beyond all repair. And they deserve nothing less than to be arrested and tried for high treason. We the people have the power to take them down. It's in our hands right now. The government's power is derived solely from our obedience. Its wealth is derived solely from our labor. Its strength is actually our strength. Take it back from them. That resistance, facilitated and amplified by a weapon our predecessors did not have, the glory that is instantaneous communication.
solution to these issues is not less speech, but more speech. Not less or restrictive action, but more and constructive action. Anonymous believes the only legitimate form of power is a power which rests on widespread public consent. The diversity of Anonymous is as vast as the human condition, thus as the way of the universe, the good with the bad, the left with the right. Change is instant, and it is total. Anonymous is the sum of its members divided infinitely. To the citizens of the United States and the United States government, we are anonymous. As we've seen with Mega Upload, the government may not need a bill to be passed to get their way. Other operations we've conducted over this time period have awakened the people to the nightmare that is the United States government. Sections 1031 and 1032 of the National Defense Authorization Act have been ratified, yet we face new threats. The United States government is seeking to pass the Cybersecurity Act of 2012. This act is as Orwellian as it sounds. It will endanger our collective and we will not stand by and watch while this government of lies prepares to take away our freedoms. The National Security Agency insists on labeling us as a leaderless terrorist organization. The question is, who do we terrorize? Can it possibly be that the United States government is truly afraid of us? Nevertheless, the time for action is now. Our collective has realized, along with many United States citizens, that the current government is no longer functional. Our economy isn't stable. Our representatives and cooperative and our system destroyed. We are not calling upon the collective to deface or use a distributed denial of service attack on a United States government agency website or affiliate. We are not calling upon the people to occupy a city or protest in front of a local building. This has not brought on us any legislative change or alternate law. It has only brought us bloodshed and false criticism. Corporations and lobbyists are the true leaders of this country and are the ones with the power to control our lives. To rebuild our government, we must first destroy it. Our time for democracy is here. Our time for real change is here. This is America's time to have its own revolution. Therefore, Anonymous has decided to openly declare war on the United States government. This is a call to arms. We call upon the citizens of the United States to stand beside us in overthrowing this corrupted body and call upon a new era. Our allegiance is to the American people, because they are us, and we are them. Operation V. Engaged. We are Anonymous. We are Americans. We never forgive. We never forget. To the United States government, it's too late to expect us.